and putting them on notice. Enough's enough. A stern warning coming from Minneapolis Police Chief Madaria Arredondo, joined by members of the ATF and FBI. A warning for those holding ground at 38th in Chicago as plans to reopen the intersection are ongoing. The current situation at 38th in Chicago is unacceptable and will not and must not be tolerated. According to the chief, shot spotter activations near George Floyd Square were up over 2,500% in 2020, with robberies and assaults up 378%. Most recently, a 30-year-old man was shot and killed in the square. One life lost to violence is one too many. He is the only shooting that we've had in 2021, despite all the reports that this place is some sort of like lawless, chaotic den of iniquity. Marsha Howard is one of several community members who've been holding space since last summer at 38th in Chicago. Has come a place of healing and reflection in the wake of George Floyd's death. And the last thing she wants to see is the city take back the streets before the community has healed. If you recall, there was a press conference where our mayor said that he was going to respect the sanctity of the space and not try to forcibly open it. For Howard and those who call the neighborhood home, the city's push to reopen this intersection, they say, is self-motivated. So much of it is propaganda. It does seem like the MPD is now overcompensating to bring in the feds all of a sudden. As the intersection's future well being of those who want to see it reopen sits in limbo. Rest assured that intersection is going to open. Injustice closed these streets. Only justice should open them. Now, Chief Arredondo didn't give a timeline on when 38th in Chicago would reopen, but he did say is forthcoming, and it's unclear if that will take place before or after the Derek Chauvin trial. In Minneapolis, Devon Roming, Care 11 News.